looking pretty good. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You know, I'm back again with another painting video. And of course, we are painting shoes. I did my painting Converse video, the sunflowers on the Converse, and I have another pair of shoes that I got these freshman year and I wore them a lot. And they are very worn out and creased and instead of just throwing them away and never wearing them again, why not paint them? This might not turn out the best, but we're going to have fun with it. My envision for this shoe is I want to do like a sunset with clouds over it. I will enter pictures of my inspo around. Honestly, I don't even know where to start, but we're just going to do it. Just do it. Like Nike. <laughs> I'm so funny. So I got some tape. We're going to basically tape off the bottoms because I don't want to paint the bottom. And I don't think I want to paint the logo either. Is that right? That's... So I'll be back whenever I'm done with this tape because I, I taped all around the edges and the logo, bro, it's over for Nike. Look, why buy Nike sweatshirts when you can literally make it with tape? It looks so fresh. Look at that. Honestly, this video is done already. So I still don't have um, my paint palette, so I'm just using a shoebox cap. We're very innovative like that, okay? Let's get started. I'm going to start with the left shoe first. Aha, uh -huh. okay wait, maybe I should wear my um, Nike sweatshirt. Is it coming out? Oh my gosh, that's a lot. I already got paint on my sweatshirt. As you guys can see, we're obviously sponsored by Nike. Just kidding, I wish. Oh, I think I got paint my hair. Okay, I just moved over here so you guys can see a little bit better. Starting off with blue. Let's get some purple and try to blend it in there. You know, me trying to be Bob Ross right now. We're just starting off with blue on the bottom and then we're going to work purple blended in there and then to the orangish color. How's that guys? Honestly, not too bad. So we got some purple action going on up in here. I think now we can start working the orangish color. Okay, here we go. Just do it. I'm gonna add a little bit of white to it. This is so scary. I feel like I'm just gonna ruin it. Honestly, I don't even need this. So I'm gonna try to blend it in a little bit more. This is what I have so far. Okay guys, so I think the base of my first shoe is pretty much done. Like I said, I was going to avoid this area. I hope it doesn't look weird that only like half of it is painted. I can't paint this area because it's like all creased like I said and it will just crack and look bad. But yeah, honestly I'm just going to let it dry and we're going to come back and then do the clouds. And I think it will look better after that. Guys, we are halfway, not halfway done, we're, we're, we're just getting there. A little bit later, 
Here are my shoes. They're pretty much almost done drying, but we're gonna go ahead and start painting the clouds now. This is the make or break part. I'm scared. I didn't really plan where I want to put the clouds, so I need to think of that. Actually, we're just gonna we're just gonna do it. I'm gonna start off with like little round shapes. These clouds kind of look fluffy, kind of triangle shapes, but we're gonna make them like round on the edges to make it kind of a soft cloud look. We're gonna get some more white paint and go back over it, make it look a little bit more um, brighter. This is what I have. It looks actually good, I think. Okay, and I'm making some clouds lighter than others to make it look like they're like up closer and farther back, which I think makes it look more realistic, I guess you would say. It's looking pretty good. There is the first shoe, guys. Clouds make such a difference. Said girl, you got it set in stone. If you lay the mat, I'll call you home. I'll make you mine and you'll never be. Okay, we finished the clouds. I'm pretty sure. If I need to fix anything, I will. But we're going to take this off. And I think, let's see. The tape has pretty much done its job. I can like go back and fix the edges. And we're going to paint this that says air and then the line. It's been a few hours and my back is kind of hurting because leaning over on this chair. But we'll be fine. We'll be fine. I don't know what color I want to paint this. I'm thinking like a light, very light purple. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> we need a very small brush for this. I did it. It's so cute. Okay, there it says that. So we're gonna do the rest now. Oh my gosh, and then I mess up. You can't really tell because it's a really light color, but I kind of messed up a little bit. I'll see you guys when I'm done because this is nerve wracking. Okay, so after many hours of painting, this is the finished product. Woo! Um, I finished and maybe now I can wear these and instead of focusing on the creasing, you guys can look at the um, paint job. I will insert some clips up close of what it looks like. I honestly think these would be so cool with like different colored laces, like I don't know, blue laces or something. Do it next to Evie. But I'm convinced that one of my feet are bigger than the other because for like all of my shoes, not just these, one fits better than the other. Like this one is not as creased and it fits better. And then this one is looser and it's like very creased. So I don't know. Like they, it's not just these shoes. So I don't know what's wrong with me. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me paint shoes. Oh, the battery's about to die. Okay, anything. Let me know if I should do more painting videos. Maybe I can make this into a series, a painting series, and maybe I'll paint something other than shoes. But give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you like my channel or me, make sure to subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. I fall in love too easily. I fall in love too fast